number five here at the North Charleston Coliseum. South Carolina Stingrays with a three to one series lead. Looking to close it down tonight. Bernardo was shoved but keeps control. And now Rob Flick will send it in to Bernardo far side. Bernardo to the middle, a shot, stop, rebound, score! Andrew Turnitin! And South Carolina takes a one nothing lead. The first, nice job by Flick to enter the zone with Bernardo. Bernardo, one shot, Turnitin the rebound. one nothing Stingrays. It'll be Turnitin for Bernardo and Flick. That's been the line for South Carolina that has gotten things moving. And what a shot by Turnitin. Gray is able to clear. And now Archambault looking for a rush. Archambault into the zone for Zajac near side. Back to Archambault. He scores! What a move by Olivier Archambault! He pulled it to the backhand. And South Carolina leads it two to nothing here in game number five. Boy, what a play from Archambault over to Zajac. Zajac back to Archambault, that's a beauty. Off the backhand, short side. Wow, Archambault stuffs it in with the backhand. First by Andrew Chernichin and Olivier Archambault. Marcus Perrier turned it over to Zach Camras in neutral ice. Camras dropped it back for Aviani on the backhand in front, was knocked away, and Milner makes a save with the glove. He had to sprawl out to get back in the net and make the save. Of the Delkovich Stingrays win it cleanly. Devin back to St. Jack. Shot from Weinstein in front, save made by Nadelkovich. Joe Devin was sitting in front of the net and had a deflection on a shot by Weinstein. Pass from Weinstein, I'm assuming that was a pass and found Joe Devin. And that's that's what Steve Weinstein can give you there too. Just for Bryce Analoski in Florida, deflected back in by John McCarron, 11.52 to go. Ooh. And the second and a big hit that time. And we've got a penalty and a fight. Federico and Matt Ferry gonna go on the backboards after a big hit on Wade Epp, who is laying down. Federico sticking up for his defensive partner. The officials trying to break up the end of this fight. Rick Cobart out of the ice to attend to Wade Epp. And Epp still down, and now is rolling over and gets up. Epp is okay. Very similar style of play between those two Stingray fans who have uh, been watching the team. And off the draw, a crossbar. The Everblades come very close to getting on the board. Now a shot by Logan Rowe is deflected over. The yeah, there he does. That's a good job there by a veteran player. Mitchell Hurd is heading into the box for Florida. Got a two-goal lead here in the third period. Those are the kind of things that frustrate Rosowski in another post. Oh boy, Brent Harris right off the faceoff. He rings one off the left post. And then John Parker did a nice job blocking it. Lost his stick. He goes on the bench to get a new one, but then just changes off. And another hit by Flick. Far side, but Florida scores. John McCarron on a deflection in front. Beats Parker Milner up high. 27 to go in the third. Yeah, great, great passing play there by the Everblades. And I was like you, I got caught up the ice looking at the flick hit and then the puck's in the back of your net. On the far wall, Leach with five seconds to go. John Parker hanging on. It's over. For the third consecutive season, the South Carolina Stingrays are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. And the Everblades were the top dogs in the South all season long. Stingrays played them, played them even during yep, the regular they season. Did. They were five and five, but Florida was the team to beat all season. Stingrays pumping up this crowd. It's not the last. You'll see a South Carolina here this year.